Tajikistan. A land of rugged mountains and rushing rivers faced a daunting challenge, crippling electricity shortages that darkened homes and stunted growth. Yet, amidst this struggle, an audacious vision emerged. The Rogun Hydroelectric Power Plant, a dream conceived in the Soviet era, was destined to transform the nation's fate. Imagine a dam so tall it pierces the sky at 335 meters, harnessing the relentless force of the Vakhsh River to generate enough power to light up millions of homes. Reviving this behemoth project after decades of dormancy required grit, innovation, and a dash of audacity. The promise? To turn Tajikistan from a country in the shadows into a beacon of energy and progress. As the dam ascends, the stakes rise too, with every meter bringing the nation closer to energy independence and regional prominence. But how do you build the world's tallest dam and ensure it withstands the test of time and nature? Tajikistan, a country with an abundance of water resources, has long grappled with a significant problem, electricity shortages. Particularly in the winter months, the demand for electricity surges, leading to frequent and prolonged power outages. This isn't just a minor inconvenience, it has severe repercussions for the country's economy, healthcare, education, and the daily lives of its citizens. Industries come to a halt, hospitals struggle to provide critical care, and students are left in the dark, literally and figuratively. The existing power infrastructure simply couldn't meet the growing demands of the nation. To address this pressing issue, the vision of the Rogun hydroelectric power plant was born. The idea of harnessing the power of the Vakhsh River dates back to the Soviet era over four decades ago. Located in the heart of Central Asia, the Vakhsh River flows through Tajikistan's mountainous terrain, offering an immense untapped hydroelectric potential. In 1976, construction on the Rogun project began, aiming to transform the river's powerful currents into a reliable source of energy for the nation. However, the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 abruptly halted progress. The ensuing civil war in Tajikistan further delayed any hope of resuming the project, leaving it as an ambitious but incomplete relic of the past. The dream of Rogun didn't die with the Soviet Union. In 2008, Tajikistan reignited the project with a renewed sense of urgency and determination. The government took bold steps, raising funds through the sales of shares to the public and reallocating national budget resources to finance the construction. By 2016, after investing over $2.5 billion, Tajikistan had managed to restart construction in earnest, symbolizing a new era of self-reliance and national pride. But what exactly is this project, and how does it work? At its core, the Rogun hydroelectric power plant is about harnessing the immense power of water to generate electricity. The centerpiece of this project is the Rogun Dam, which, upon completion, will stand a staggering 335 meters tall, making it the tallest dam in the world. This height is not just for show, it allows the dam to hold back an enormous volume of water, creating a massive reservoir that will drive the plant's turbines. The construction of the Rogun Dam is a feat of engineering. The dam is a rock fill embankment with a central clay core designed to be both incredibly strong and flexible enough to withstand seismic activity, which is crucial in this earthquake-prone region. The sheer volume of materials required is mind-boggling. Millions of cubic meters of rock and earth have been moved to build this colossal structure. Specialized heavy machinery sourced from leading manufacturers around the world works around the clock, moving and placing materials with precision. The reservoir created by the dam will store up to 13.3 cubic kilometers of water, which is enough to fill over 5 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. This vast body of water will be managed through a series of tunnels and gates carefully designed to regulate water flow and ensure the safe and efficient operation of the power plant. Water from the reservoir will be channeled through these tunnels to the turbines, which are the heart of the hydroelectric system. These tunnels, some with diameters as large as 15 meters, are meticulously engineered to control the immense pressure and volume of water. The Rogan plant will have six turbines, each with a capacity of 600 megawatts. These turbines are of the Francis type, known for their efficiency and reliability. As water flows through the turbines, it spins them, converting the kinetic energy of the moving water into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy is then transformed into electrical energy by generators connected to the turbines. The total capacity of 3600 megawatts means the plant can produce enough electricity to power millions of homes and businesses. 
Building this massive infrastructure is a complex process involving thousands of workers and advanced machinery. Over 15,000 workers, including engineers, technicians, and laborers are employed on the project. They work in shifts around the clock, ensuring that construction progress is without interruption. Heavy machinery, numbering over 3,400 units from leading global manufacturers is used for excavation, material transportation, and precise placement tasks. One of the key engineering challenges has been constructing the dam's foundation and core. This involves laying a vast amount of concrete and reinforcing it with steel. For example, more than 28,000 cubic meters of concrete have been laid in the core galleries, which are essential for the dam's stability. Additionally, over 412 cubic meters of asphalt concrete has been used in the upper parts of the main foundation to ensure impermeability and durability. Building such a massive power plant is not just about the big components like the dam and turbines. It involves an intricate network of supporting infrastructure. For instance, the power generated needs to be transmitted over long distances to reach consumers. This requires robust transmission lines and substations designed to handle the high voltage of the electricity produced. Additionally, the construction of the dam and power plant has necessitated the development of access roads, worker accommodations, and other logistical support structures to ensure smooth operations. The project involves continuous tunneling operations, often requiring controlled explosions to break through rock. These explosions are carefully timed and executed to minimize disruption and ensure the safety of workers. Once the tunnels are excavated, they are reinforced with steel and concrete, ready to channel the massive water flows needed for power generation. Another critical component is the flood protection system. The dam includes a complex array of spillways and gates designed to manage excess water during heavy rains, preventing downstream flooding. This system is crucial for protecting communities and infrastructure along the Vashd River. Despite the project's scale and complexity, significant progress has been made. The first turbine was inaugurated in 2018, marking a major milestone. This event was celebrated with great fanfare symbolizing the rebirth of a long dormant dream. The second turbine is expected to come along soon, with plans to complete all six turbines by 2028. Each step forward brings Tajikistan closer to energy independence and regional energy leadership. The Rogan hydroelectric power plant is poised to have a transformative impact on Tajikistan and the surrounding region. Once fully operational, the plant will generate 3,600 megawatts of electricity, significantly exceeding the country's domestic needs. This surplus energy will enable Tajikistan to become a major electricity exporter, providing power to neighboring countries such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Uzbekistan. Moreover, the reliable electricity supply from Rogan will spur industrial growth within Tajikistan, creating jobs and encouraging foreign investment. With consistent power, businesses can operate more efficiently and new industries can emerge, driving economic development. The environmental benefits are also significant. By reducing reliance on fossil fuels, Rogan will lower greenhouse gas emissions, contributing to global efforts to combat climate change. The plant's role in water regulation will also support sustainable agricultural practices vital for the country's food security. As the Rogan Hydroelectric Power Plant nears completion, it stands as a beacon of hope and progress for Tajikistan. This mega-project not only addresses the pressing issue of electricity shortages, but also sets the stage for a brighter, more sustainable future. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.